because it's about a gentleman named Scott Hardy. Scott Hardy is a lot of things. He is a volunteer firefighter. He is a highway emergency response operator, okay. hero, if you're following at home. And he is also a YouTube sensation. He goes by Uncle Mullet on YouTube, but that's a whole other thing. But what? he's gotten a lot of popularity because he is so kind and he's full of compassion. And here is a case in point. Aww. So the other day he was driving down the road and he got rear-ended. Oh no. It was a hit and run. Oh no. The person drove off and Ain't left that. him. Uh, nope. Like what's happening oh, here? No. Oh but no. But you know what Uncle Mullet did? He followed the person and found her, and it was a young woman who was just terrified. She'd never been in an accident, and she said, I'm, there's Uncle Mullet getting down on a show. Wait, I'm sorry. Uncle Mullet took the law into his own hands and, and tracked down the yes. offender? Yes. They, she hit him. Then he said, you know what, I'm going to go find this person. <laughs> wow. It happened to be a young woman, and he said, you know what, I'm so glad that I did that, that I went to find her. He helped her fix her car, told her it was going to be okay. And he said, sometimes, Aww. you know, you just need to take a minute and treat things with compassion and kindness. He said, you know, for as calm and rational as he is, when he did get rear-ended, he was a little mad. Well, yeah. Which spurred him to find the offender, but then he said, you know, his compassionate side took over and he was happy that he did that and they worked it all out. They but can worked you believe it that? out, but uh, okay, I'll I know. tell you, that's a very, well, that's a vigilante thing. I don't want you ever to take the law into your own hands, people, because okay. you never know. She may not sure. be as nice and young right. as, but said um, she was just visibly I shaken know. and upset. And, I right, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, I told the, the kids, no matter what happens, mm -hmm. the day that you do get behind a wheel, God help us all, I said, never, ever run. Always take responsibility. Sure. It's never going to be as bad as you think. I mean, you have to. Right. Yeah. Sorry, that was my public service no. announcement. Children, well, this, don't run away. I told, this is so silly. Maybe I've told this story before. Oh, goodness. But, <laughs> no. Was it when about I, the goat? No, no, not oh. about a goat. But when I, <laughs> when I was coming to interview here, I backed into a woman in a parking lot. I was so s upset. There was a police officer in the parking lot, and she was like, I said, I'm so sorry. I'm going to be late to a job interview. And she goes, you go. You go get that job. And I was like, what? Oh. She had a, yes. So if you're watching... She drove a very nice Mercedes SUV and I really appreciate that.